Hello folks and welcome to episode 2. This is uh, the completed box. I'll show you how I made that. Um, I'll do that mostly with pictures. Uh, they'll take some pictures of and uh, talk over that. Um, just to give you all the details. Uh, it took a few hours, a bit of soldering. You can see uh, over there I've been hard at work but it's all now ready and hot to trot. Got my multimeter set up here, um, just so you can see it in action. Um, the CTI igniters need a minimum all fire current of 1.35 amps, so that was the target. Uh, I'm using a 2200 milliamp hour uh, 3 cell LiPo. I've uh, got a resistor in there as well, uh, which I'll show you later on so I don't fry all the switches. Um, but yeah, so let's see, did I manage to do it? So uh, we'll turn it on. And as you can see, the LED comes on. Looking at our multimeter, we've now uh, gone up to 0 0.02 of an amp, but that's fine because the uh, maximum no fire current is 0 0.04 of an amp. So well within that. And then we'll uh, press the magic button. The LED goes out, that current's free to roam. And as you can see, we're getting 3.68 amps. So that's plenty. We'll let that go. That drops off. And we're uh, back to uh, having the LED on. Then turn that off. And uh, she's safe. So I've got 20 meters worth of cable uh, connected to that drum, uh, which I'm using uh, to keep me safe. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I uh, even stand a chance with the big Aerotech ones too. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good stuff. Right, well, uh, let's get on with it and I'll show you how I made it. Alrighty, so here we go. So uh, the picture you've got on your screen at the moment is the circuit diagram. Uh, obviously the battery on the left, that's my uh, three cell LiPo. I uh, put 11.1 .1 volts because obviously that's what it's officially rated as uh, in brackets. But 12 volts uh, just for uh, clarity on the left. Uh, fully charged is pushing at about 12.5 volts. So obviously uh, that, uh, that will vary, but uh, I'll be mostly using it on a uh, fairly full charge. After that, I've got my uh, 2 ohm resistor. Uh, that ensures that I'm getting a nice uh, 6 amps through my switches. Um, that's the maximum rated current. So uh stops them from burning out. And obviously it is on to my switch next. So uh, this is a DPDT switch, uh, double pole, double throw. It's a very simple diagram of it there, obviously. Um, I'll show you on the wiring uh, a bit more detail later on. Um, so, uh, yeah, after that, we're then going on to the uh, DPST switch, which is effectively my um, uh, switch, my push button. Uh, to uh, launch the rocket. Uh, that is then uh, wired in parallel with a uh, LED which you can see there between the two uh, switches. I've put that in the middle. Um, I should say the uh, DPST stands for double pole a single throw. Again that's uh, a very simplified uh, circuit diagram drawing of it but uh, just to keep it simple. Um, and then from that uh, switch goes the uh, wires to the igniters. Uh, so the current goes through there. Obviously once that switch is depressed, the switch has got far less resistance than the LED. So that's the reason the LED goes out when I press the switch. And it just uh, goes straight through, bypassing the LED out to the igniters. And then uh, through the igniter, uh, setting that off. Um, and then obviously back down the bottom half of the diagram here, which is the negative side, uh, all the way back down to the battery, completing the circuit. Okay, so uh, looking at some uh, other pictures. The next thing I had here was just the basic box. This is just the basic unit that uh, I decided to uh, house it in. Uh, 15 centimeters wide and uh, 10 centimeters in length. 60 centimeters, uh, sorry, 6 centimeters, I should say, in, uh, in depth. Uh, which is plenty. Um, so I mark some holes along the top there to uh, to drill out to put my switch gear in. I uh, also did some holes at the front. The next picture you've got uh, there, uh, a couple of the holes that were yet to put the switches in after I'd made them. Uh, the LED in the middle there and then the uh, two 4 mil plugs at the front there for the uh, banana clips. 
Uh, after that, uh, I'd finished putting all the switch gear in, um, so you can see it's uh, all there, looking uh, nice and pretty. Uh, all good to go. Uh, after that, it was time to get down to the uh, hot stuff and uh, do some soldering. So there's just a few of the uh, bits and bobs I was using. Um, so I'll start uh, from the beginning of the circuit, uh, as per the circuit diagram I showed you earlier. Uh, at the battery and, uh, and then we'll work our way through okay so um, I've got the 3 cell 11.1 volt uh, LiPo here 2200 so obviously huge amount of capacity uh, it's a 25C discharge so uh, it's capable of uh, putting out a good uh, 50 amps plus um, without too many issues um, so yes, you can see that's uh, all wired up there uh, at the top there with the Dean's connector, which I, uh, I soldered on. Um, and uh, yeah, the voltage, as I say, is getting through the uh, circuit and no problem at all. Uh, so here's a short video clip just uh, demonstrating that. And uh, there you go. So I'll uh, flick it on. You can see it uh, come up at uh, 11.04. I'll press the switch and uh, we're getting a full 12.4 volts, so uh, plenty there. Okay, so um, the next part of the circuit, uh, after the Dean's connector goes to my resistor. Uh, this is a 2 ohm resistor, uh, 100 watt, um, just to make sure that it was running absolutely completely cool. Um, it, it's, it's, it copes with the current absolutely fine. It was just to get the uh, current down to 6 amps, that way I knew I would uh, definitely be getting uh, 6 amps through my switches, I just didn't want to risk burning them out. Um, better safe than sorry, that's what I say. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty cool little piece of kit, just a sort of square shape with um, some heat uh, shrinking that I've put on it after I'd soldered the wires on just to uh, insulate it from uh, getting short-circuited uh, by the uh, LED to the top there, didn't want that to happen, so uh, yeah, insulated it with that. Um, so after the resistor, we go on to the uh, DPDT switch. Um, so basically, the wire on the middle left is the one coming from the resistor, as you can see in the far right of the picture. Um, and then effectively, once I throw the switch, uh, the current goes up to the north uh, northern part of that switch, uh, around this little loop here, uh, and then back down um, to the wire that's in the middle on the right there. Uh, which ultimately goes off to my um, double pole single throw switch. Uh, so yeah, that's how that's wired up. Uh, here is my uh, double pole single throw switch, uh, aka the fun button. Um, and uh, you can see the wires uh, coming uh, through to that there uh, on the uh, left hand side. Um, the top left hand one, as I say, that's uh, that's the one that's got um, the other switch wired to it. That uh, other red wire coming off of it is to the LED. Uh, again, I've, I've just got a loop in there uh, just to uh, keep continuity when it's depressed. And uh, then you've got the LED, uh, that black wire is coming back from the LED. And, uh, and then this other long red wire you can see in the sort of right of the screen that's going down to my 4mm uh, plug. Um, moving on then you can see the LED so you've got uh, a couple of little switches going on here um, as I say it's uh, wired in parallel with the uh, DPDT switch so uh, yes you've got the uh, red wire there for the positive and the negative side of it's going back to the other side of uh, well the top right hand terminal of the uh, DPST switch so, uh, as I say, those wires then uh, go down towards my 4mm plugs. You can see them all here. Again, I put heat shrink on to insulate them and uh, make them a bit sturdier so they don't break at the soldering points. Uh, red positive, black negative. Um, pretty simple uh, and straightforward there. Uh, next picture's got my banana plugs, um, which I can plug in and out. So that means I can separate the controller from the uh, cable should I uh, need or want to. So that's quite a handy feature to have. Uh, the next picture's got them stuck into the box. So you can see red in red, black in black. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Um, and then that travels all the way down my white cable, which you can see coming out at the end of those, to 
my uh, crocodile clips. Uh, so they then click onto, I should say, snap onto the uh, igniter at the other end, uh, completing the circuit. Uh, so then, uh, as I say, the current's flowing from the uh, red wire here up into the igniter, and then it's free to go uh, back down the negative wire, uh, black wire there, uh, all the way back into the box and into the battery, which completes the circuit and, uh, yeah, makes it all work. So I hope you found that uh, useful. I can't wait to put this uh, to good use. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be good fun. I'm really happy with that. How it turned out. Well, uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in episode two, uh, three.